We'll just have to try that again. First attempt, I had the camera the wrong way. First Peter 1, 14 to 16. As obedient children, do not be conformed to the passions of your former ignorance. But as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct. Since it is written, you shall be holy for I am holy. That's First Peter 1, 14 to 16. It's funny how sometimes, often, really, children think obedience is optional. I'll tell my daughter to do something and she'll say to me, but I don't want to. And I'll say, why not? And she'll say, I don't want to. And I say, I don't care. Do it anyway. She says, why? And I say, because I told you to. Being a child of God is a great privilege and blessing. To think that the holy God has called you to be his child, has baptized you into his family through his son, has cleansed and washed you of all your sins by giving his son to die for you so that you might be his own. It's, it's too wonderful for words. This truth also bears with it a responsibility. You, Peter says, are to be obedient children. Christ has set you free not to live the way you've always lived, not to live the way the world lives, not to live in the passions of your former ignorance, as Peter says. That's a pretty good description of our sinful nature, isn't it? Whenever we want something, whenever we have a desire for something, we just take it. In our ignorance, we give no thought to whether it's really good or not, just as Eve took the forbidden fruit listening to the devil's lies. We give no thought to the long-term effects of sins like drunkenness. No thought to the effect that our words, our lies, our goals might have on other people. No thought to the holiness to which God has called us and in, in, in which he expects us to live. Your sinful nature, just like mine, just like the rest of the mankind, basically lives on the principles, if it feels good, do it. And you deserve to be happy. But come now, child of God, you have a higher calling. You know better. You were called by a holy God. You were made holy through the blood of his son. He has made you his child, and obedience to him is not an optional part of this package. He has made you holy and cleansed you through faith. Believe it. Live it. Be holy as God is holy. And certainly, you're never going to succeed entirely in that. But don't let that be an excuse. Don't let that be a reason to give up. Don't let that be a reason to keep on living the way you always have. Christ's blood is always there to make holy what you make unholy. But that should be a motivator, not an excuse. To remind you, child of God, be holy as God is holy.